Aqua gang, gang, gang. What it do, you guys? It's your girl, Empress777 here today with a general love message for my Aquarius soul family. I hope you guys are doing super fantastic. I most certainly am. Holy angels and spirit guys, please give us exactly what we need to know for Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. As you guys know, these messages are general. If you're new here, welcome. Take a look around, okay? You are welcome, all right? These messages are general, okay? They can't be for every single Aquarius, but I do upload for you guys quite often, all right? Just take what resonates with you and leave the rest for whoever else it's here for. My readings are quite particular, right? So just use your intuition to guide you towards the messages that are here for you today, okay? <laughs> you guys, please click the like button. It helps in the... The, the biggest way that you could ever imagine. It helps people find us on this platform and it helps us grow, guys, okay? We are on a road to 100,000, so please click the like button as well as the subscribe button if you have not done so already and make it official, become a part of our family, okay? Description box below, we have all kinds of knickknacks down there for you guys, such as merch, personal reading information, etc., etc. okay? So take a look down there if that's something that you're interested in. I don't have time to waste. Can't go through a whole bunch of announcements because this, what the fuck is this? Like, I just, I want this energy gone. I'm almost more excited to get to your new love reading because of this mess. And I, I definitely want to send my hat off, off to you. Is that what they say? Take my hat off to you? Like, I definitely am giving you your props um, because this wasn't the easiest connection to get through. And you're not quite done with it just yet. I know, I know, girl, what? Girl, what? You just said new love. I got it. But this is somebody who I think is having a change of heart in reference to whether or not they want to let you go because they definitely feel like they're in control of this. Um, I feel like this is a reading full of hypocrisy. That's what I kept hearing. Like, this is a hypocrite, okay? So let's go over the cards that have come out. We have drama, drama, drama. Of course, of course. I feel like that's coming right to your doorstep. You should either already energetically feel this approaching or it's already begun, right? Like, I don't feel like that this person is coming in like a wrecking ball or like a tornado. It does feel like um, tiptoeing their way back in or trying to um, find a back door, a corner, a key under the mat, something, something to get back in. And the longer you continue to keep this person at arm's length, the longer you continue to make it almost impossible for them to engage with you on the way that they feel they should be able to. Um, I feel like the drama just continues to ramp up. Okay, that that's what I feel. So it's going to be very imperative that you protect yourself. All right, please be sure that you are operating from your highest standards. Don't let this person um, bring you down to their level, even though I feel like that's what they're trying to do. It's very triggering energy. It says, I love the way you lie. You see what I'm saying? It's the hypocrisy for me. And then it's run faster. Nah, faster, my G, right? Like, so here's the thing. This card in particular, the run faster card, it's coming towards me in several different ways, okay? The first way I'm getting is, this is somebody who literally ran you away, okay, with their behavior, their toxic traits, their antics, their foolery, their fuckery, their drama, right, their bullshit. They literally ran you off, yet they're the ones saying that you're running away, right? This is what they're accusing you of, all right? Also, this is a person who lies profusely, okay? This is a pathological liar. I feel like they are just so very comfortable with lying that they almost become very insistent that their lies are true even to themselves okay it's quite um jarring is the word that they're using yet they're accusing you of, the, of being the liar right what lies what lies have you told mm, okay so i feel like you ever giving this person the time of day even if you didn't quite express like true emotions to this person if you didn't um express love to this person if you didn't tell them how you actually felt for them they got the inclination that you were into them that you wanted them that you wanted to be with them that you wanted a future with them just by your actions alone so now the reverse of it all is what's leading this person to believe that now you're the one running um i also feel for some of you this is somebody who was actually the runner okay I don't believe you chase them and now it it feels like they're back right it feels like they're they're spinning the block like 
they've been waiting for you to catch up to them. They, they're almost viewing you as a bounty hunter. If this is your portion of the story, right? Um, that you would fight for this, that you would always be down to, okay, <laughs> thug it out, ride or die, right? Now they're, they're viewing you as like a liar because yeah, you're not fighting for this. You're not chasing it. You're not willing to die. <laughs> you're not willing to die for them okay it's the drama of it all right it's very dramatic energy this person is portraying and i also feel like this person is um a bit butthurt that you're seeing the benefits of going in the opposite direction rather than working on things with them um they're also calling your bluff in the same tone so it's just lots of hypocrisy you guys okay um I don't know why this individual won't let you just be, okay? I definitely feel like you possibly got the best of them emotionally, right? Even if they feign to be the type that don't have emotions, right? That don't get tied up in the whole emotions thing. That, that doesn't have a heart. That doesn't fall in love. That doesn't do girlfriends. That doesn't do boyfriends. That doesn't do, you know, that doesn't do that shit. It's a lie, you guys, okay? Yet yeah, they want to call you the liar. This person's entire life feels like a lie to me. Meaning I feel like they've always tried to portray themselves as something other than what they actually are. It's crazy. We have wedding in the reverse. We have worth waiting for in the reverse, right? And then we have you deserve love, period. Okay, and then honeymoon. I love this. Express your love. So it's almost like past, present, future. Okay? Okay. In the past, you possibly did see a future with this person. For some of you, you may have even gone as far as to get engaged. For some of you, it's marriage. Okay, not all of you. Don't force it to fit. Either way it goes, this was something that was, that had the potential to go all the way, right? Um, the potential to become a partnership, something set in stone, something contractual, right? You may also be like thinking your lucky stars. For those of you who didn't go this far, um, you are now seeing this person for who they really are. And you're also getting a bird's eye view of what your life would have been like if you did commit to this person on this level. So you're almost like feeling like you dodged a bullet in a sense, right? Feeling like you've dodged a disaster, right? Um, presently, this is somebody who definitely does not like the idea of you feeling like you deserve more, of you feeling like you deserve the things that you actually do deserve, right? Like they want you to, to believe otherwise. Um, you kind of held on to your pride, your dignity, and you did not chase them. And that is a problem, okay? This is a big, huge red flag for this person. Like, whoa, <laughs> I thought I trained you better. Sort of type of energy. It's wild, okay? In the future, we do have a new love connection right on the horizon. It says, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So I do feel like this is somebody who is more on your level, more compatible. All right. This is somebody who knows how to express themselves maturely. Right. Um, it definitely feels like you're on the same vibrational uh, playing field as this newer love connection. Um, but it appears we have a blocker here. Right. We have somebody who wants to infiltrate that space. Somebody who still wants to be seen, who still wants to be heard. Somebody who wants a moment is what it feels like. You guys, I'm not saying that you're willing to give this person a moment. What I'm saying is they're making it almost impossible to not be seen, not be heard. OK, we have paradise. See? Yeah. Wow. For some of you, you may really run into this person, this newer energy just by chance. You're not even looking, okay? Because you're really into self-love, self-care, doing things that you like to do. And I feel like that energy is what's attracting this newer person. Um, it, it's it's an overjoy for the two of you encountering one another, okay? Um, it doesn't feel like this you know, whimsical once in a lifetime smashing into each other and our hearts fell. No, it is very practical. Okay. Very logical. I feel like the emotions are what mollywop you. Okay. It definitely feels just like, oh, I met somebody that's cool type of energy. It doesn't feel like um, love at first sight. No, but the building up as the two of you get to know each other, as the two of you express what it is that you want out of life, as the two of you are more transparent about your goals and the things that you desire, that is, that is, that's it right there, okay? That's going to be the shocker that you have so much in common or that 
like this could actually work type of type of shit right I don't feel like you felt like that in a long time see heart with a key right I don't feel like you have felt in a very long time the energy of wanting to give your heart to somebody the energy of wanting to let your guard down right getting to know someone it's like shit I'm still getting to know my damn self especially after all of the bullshit you're re um, introducing yourself I feel like everybody wants to get to know you not just you okay I know you want to get to know yourself but everybody else wants to get to know you too and there's one person in particular that I feel like is going to add this flirtation this playfulness this energy that's going to allow you to be willing to open up and it is worth it okay um there's a a honesty about this connection that I really love for you that still doesn't take away from the fact that we have this um, these loose ends that need to be tied up okay um, I do feel like you have healed you have released but that doesn't mean that this person is letting you go okay um, they feel like you're running that you're running from this that you really love them and that you really want to be with them but you're running from them that's what they're believing but I feel like in all actuality you're in, you're loving on yourself and if you've already met your new person you are falling in love you're not in love quite yet but you are falling for this person so you may be fully engulfed with this energy this older person doesn't view it that way they don't even want to believe it they're they're in denial right like they lie to themselves and to other people so they're actively telling themselves a lie this is dangerous territory for you ma'am sir bro sis talking to your person see look holding on um ten of swords this is somebody who can acknowledge that they've inflicted a lot of pain all right two of wands in the reverse but this is also someone who has the has a fear of moving forward and having the thought that they they missed out or that they lost okay that they missed out on something that's going to be great for someone else because I do remember saying earlier in this reading didn't I mention that's not the way I trained you like this is somebody who feels like they were your trainer they were your they made you who you are like they they are the ones right <laughs> they need all the credit for why you love yourself so much for why your hair is the way that it is for why you are driving that car why you have that job this, none of this might be true okay Remember, this is a liar, not a truth teller. So they believe their own lies, which also goes to why their actions are as such. OK. Wow. So I do feel like this person is going back and forth with themselves in reference to whether or not they should come in full steam ahead. Right. Talking like they know what's going on, <laughs> telling you what it's going to be. I see two, two, two on the clock. Right. Yeah. So this person is thinking or if they should hold back right we have holding back and holding on Whew. we have the queen of wands in the reverse this is taking a major toll on this person's um security guys right like the how they feel about themselves um there is some aggression here them wanting to have this conversation engage with you get you back in control get you back in their grasp right get you back under hypnosis quicker yet they're not moving so i definitely feel like the universe is setting this person up for failure <laughs> i'm sorry i'm not laughing at you i'm not laughing at none of y'all i just like what yeah it's saying that the universe is setting this person up for a huge fall you guys a major fall because their patterns their habits their tactics is it's definitely spreading okay it's spreading amongst everyone in their lives not just you all right so this person is using their same tactics of lying but they're now just lying to themselves and it's blinding them okay they still feel like they're in control they still feel like you know they have a choice in the matter they also still feel like you might love yourself now but you'll never love yourself more than you love me that's how they feel you guys that might not be any truth to that in fact there there is no fucking truth to that okay they are a liar um it's like setting them up for the okie doke is what i'm hearing right so the indecision definitely feels like it will come to a cease and that's when they're going to bring the fuck shit to your drawer with this drama right whether that be a text message showing up pulling up coming up to your job just creating lots of chaos right wreaking havoc only to be met with either you have already gotten into another relationship 
or you have just completely disappeared into another cycle, right? So it's like they decide to move coming full speed ahead just to hit a brick wall. And should they get any wind that you are engaging with another person, that will be problematic for this individual because they would have never guessed that you were off doing your own thing, let alone with another person. They've been waiting all this time for you to stop them from running. <laughs> this is crazy. Just for you to turn around and be the one running, just for you to turn around and show them who's really in charge here, who's, who's boss, okay? Whose game this is. They want to play a game, but you invented this shit. So it's like, mmm, oh, poor little Tink Tink. Damn it. That is crazy. Look at this seven of wands in the reverse. So they're going to definitely, this is them fighting a losing battle. Quite literally, you guys, quite literally. I love this for you, okay? Because I feel like this is something that you really fought for. You fought to get back into a space where you're optimistic about partnership, where you're not in a space where you're trying to tell yourself that you don't want it because you do. You do. Um, it's definitely nerve wracking that this is somebody who is not allowing you to just ride off into the sunset, right? Into paradise without causing a scene, without trying to sabotage trying to block i say trying because they will be unsuccessful at this but that doesn't mean that they won't attempt and let's not we can't like bounce over the fact that we do have free will at play here right so all the things that i'm saying definitely have a possibility of happening depending on what stance you take because you are holding the big chips here right like you're the one holding all the cards um they're scrambling right for things to do for for techniques okay they're scrambling for an in for an a, a pathway back to you for a pathway back in a pathway back into your 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 psyche you guys okay they want to be on your mind in your brain all the time okay you may even feel yourself thinking about this person out of the blue and it's just like why the, what <laughs> like why that is why this is their tactic or the tactic that they want to try and use this is somebody like i said who knows that they have caused a lot of pain all right too many of people but yet they still hold on it's like they don't want to make you happy but they don't want you to be happy without them either what in the entire fuck is this you guys what is this king of swords in the reverse this person is fucking crazy like i told you it's a very vengeful spirit that this person has okay they want to know why you haven't reached out to them yet why you haven't asked about them yet why you haven't come seen about them yet why you're not worried about them it's very verbally abusive energy okay trying to hit below the belt especially if they know your triggers saying shit just just to get a reaction out of you and that's why i'm saying like it's gonna be very important for you to not let this person get you out of character because i know i know the savage that you can be okay especially verbally nobody wants to see you on the verbal tip all right you chop people down like that's just that's what it is um but this is somebody who wants that out of you they want to pull that out of you they want that reaction out of you they want to disrupt Whatever this energy is here in the center, you got boundaries now. You've definitely placed lots of blockages up towards them, lots of boundaries that they are not able to cross. So the only boundary that they feel like they might be able to kind of maneuver their way through is through emotional verbal abuse. This is crazy to me. It's very spiteful language, right? Very selfish energy. And it's the ultimate form of manipulation. OK, because this is also somebody who knows that you're not afraid to turn up. Anybody can get it. Your mama, your daddy, your sister, your cousin. All right. Anybody. That's what they are wanting, because that will throw you off kilter from this. You deserve love energy. Right. The drama is what throws this energetic force or fields off. 
And if you haven't already made it to this honeymoon, paradise, express your love, opening of the hearts, right? Upper echelon. This is your match. If you haven't already made it there, it is um, with the intent to not only try and deter your path, but slow that shit down at the least. And if you have met this person, okay, you will already know who I'm talking about. It's a no-brainer that the two of you fit very well together, that the two of you do appear as a match, a pair, a team, bitch. Homie lover friend vibes all up and through here. It's a soulmate. Um, this person means business. I do feel like whoever this person is, is not a, this newer energy, you guys, is not afraid to throw hands for you. That sounds like a fight. <laughs> I don't think it's coming to that for all of you. But the intent of this older energy is to get your focus off of the good and focus on the bad. They want that negative, low vibrational energy. That's where they can resonate. You understand? That's all they have. <sighs> This is a mess. Like, what do y'all have me into right now? This is just like a whole mess, you guys. It is. I'm going to pull a few more cards, then we're going to go over to the extended. What I love the most about this is your new love has already shown up in this reading. It's like they're not letting this go. Oh, they're not letting this reading go any further without announcing their presence. And they mean business. You understand? The emperor, that's a fucking boss, okay? Gender doesn't matter. That's somebody who's about their business. They don't talk about it. They are about it. And that's very much the powerful energy that I'm feeling from the newer person. Um, it's equally powerful, the, the new and the old. Okay, they're fighting against each other. And what I'm also wondering, you guys, don't beat me up. I'm just feeling the need to access energetically, right? Um... Are you holding on to anything of this older person's, right? Whether this be memories, whether this be anger, whether this be resentment, bitterness towards this person, some of their items, right? Old pictures. Hello, is their number still in your phone? Like there's something that they're able to still hold on to energetically. This is why they have any form of power at all. Because you also might be wondering, how are they still showing up? Like what the fuck, bruh? That is why. Okay, so tell me. We have, mm-hmm, on the table. Offer proposal commitment. Yep. So this is somebody whose tune is changing because of this pressure cooker that you have placed them in, right? This is also somebody who never imagined that they would be in the position to be chasing you. They always thought it was going to be the other way around, guys. Okay? Even though you never chase this person, so I don't know what would give them the idea that you would do that at this point in your life. That's not even your vibe. That's not even your style at all. Like ever. You run from people. <laughs> right? Especially people who do not mesh with you. Especially people who are on that toxic shit. You out of there. They're lucky they had as long as they did with this bullshit that they brought to your table. So I don't know why. It's the lie. Right? That's the lie. They're telling themselves that you're a chaser. Okay? That if they run faster, you're going to run faster after them. And it was only your actions. I don't feel like you were literally running after this person, but you may have extended an olive branch or two. You may have taken them back in times when you possibly should have just turned your whole back on this motherfucker, right? Those are the actions that would suggest that they would always have access, right? That it would always be that way. Even if they show their entire ass, it don't matter what they do, you would just still love them. That's just who you are. I don't know who told them that, okay? <laughs> Spirit is like, they told themselves that, guys. Remember, it's a lie. They, they, they lie to themselves, okay? Obsession, right? Exactly. There is a very obsessive and compulsive energy about this individual at this time. Please protect yourself energetically, that is. Let's see here. And we have, mm-hmm, triggers, I told you. It's their number one name. That's the number one, that's the name of the game right here, baby. Okay? I feel like they're trying to creep back in energetically. This is why you're having, you know, dreams about them possibly or thoughts of them out of the blue, right? Um, your song or whatever. There's still some form of attachment that they have here. Um, we have waves that came out in the reverse. 
They want to trigger these emotions to come back up, right? Because the emotions have gone. But this person views your emotions for them as like a wave, you know, like coming and going. So they feel like they're the ones in control of whether the emotions should be going or coming towards them. And they want them to come. This is why they want to, to form these triggers or trigger you in some form, some fashion. They know specifically how to do that because they've done it before. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. All right, let's go over to the extended guys. Okay, I'm gonna really dig in over there. We're gonna definitely tap more into your newer person, your newer love over there, but let's tie this up with a cute little bow first, all right? I wanna know what is this person's actual intentions moving forward. That will signify if there have been any changes. Why the obsession now? Because I feel like they literally pushed you away. They, they, they forced you to go the, the opposite direction, right? They were the ones running. Whether energetically, emotionally, physically, actually, right? They were the ones running initially, wanting to be chased, wanting the drama, wanting the, the, the toxicity of it all, right? Um, that, that extreme high you get from thinking that somebody can't live without you. That's what they, that's what they were feeling, you guys. I don't know what gave them that notion. Because I, 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 might, I might see a lot of y'all down in them comments like, my girl, what? Live without them? What the fuck? <laughs> don't you see me living, breathing, bitch? <laughs> Okay, um, I also want to know what karmic debt this person is due to face in the near future. What karmic debt are they having to pay? Is this part of that karmic debt? I'm just nosy, but I also want to know, is this a portion of it, right? Right as someone approaches paying off a portion of their karmic debt, whether it be good or bad, right? Um, that's when an evolution comes. That's when the change comes. That's when the transformation comes. But I feel like you've already bounced over into another cycle. We will still look, though, for those of you who still might see anything in this person from the past. OK, I want to know what did they what did the two of you need to learn? Um, so why did this all have to happen, essentially? Right. Like, what's the silver lining? Um, for you, more importantly, and if you've learned those lessons, that will signify why this newer cycle is so beautiful and how soon you can expect it to jump off for you, all right? Um, and then we'll look at this older person's next steps, okay? So you can fully prepare yourself and the best potential outcome, whether you decide to re-engage with them or go towards your newer love. I'm going to look at both potential outcomes. There's no judgment at all. Let's see how you can energetically protect yourself as you move forward to make yourself invisible to all low vibrational energies and toxicity, including this this person all right and then we're gonna get right into new love okay let's get some more details in reference to who this is coming towards you how will you know who this is what's a sign or synchronicity that you can look out for to signify this person the emperor right could be an aries for some of you or they may have that somewhere within their natal chart very compatible the two of you have lots of compatibility i want to know how the two of you may potentially meet one another if you have not already done so okay and what's the most attractive quality about this person to you what will you find most attractive about them let's See the reason why this person is single all together so that you could protect yourself. That's going to be very important. All right. People will tell you whatever. I want to know the truth. Why are they single? <laughs> right. Are there any red flags that you need to know about um, prior to getting too invested in this person? I will look out for you in that sense as well. And then we're going to get your advice in reference to how spirit suggests you can bring about the life that you desire of fulfillment and happiness in the least amount of time. Okay. So please click that like button as well as the subscribe button. Okay, I'm going to put the link for the extended down below in the description box and I'm going to see y'all over there.